Welcome my friends, we are on Town Hall 7 still for the new beginner. Now this is a base that I've been running recently, protecting my dark elixir base. And that's the photo mode that you can take and we'll get into it. Now I want to show you some defenses. Does this base hold up? Obviously, you have to remember every base will not hold up, but some will. Let's just show the first one here. And does it hold up? Because first of all, I don't have all my defenses ready to go. Second of all, you cannot defend against stronger attackers. If they're bringing in stronger troops, doesn't matter. You're not going to always defend. I don't have a CC in any of these attacks or any of these defenses. If you have a CC, it would obviously help you a lot more. And I say obviously too much. But even look, my Teslas, I only have one running up. I've got my air defenses down, have some of my wizard archer towers down, things of that nature. But yet again, it's kind of a deceptive base because the the, the average, the, the attacker at Town Hall 7 doesn't really know how to crack this base. They don't really know how to get to the dark elixir. Now, you don't have to put dark elixir in there. Say you are completely empty of dark elixir, you can put a gold storage in there or an elixir storage, whatever you want to do to help protect your resources. However, this is mainly for protecting dark elixir because you need that to get your hero up, your barbarian king, the man in the hour. So we'll speed this one up. He's trying to use loons these archers might and are trying to get on it but look the mortars if the, imagine this mortar was upgraded to max man those archer towers those archers would be taken out but because these aren't taken down nothing that this archer will die so we're just going to end that they did not succeed in getting it done oh now this time very different look at this this is using the mass goblin army and i love this strategy mass goblins Oh yes indeed, nothing can take it down. So with this strategy, it looks like he took down a wizard tower and all he's gonna do is try to bum rush uh, <laughs> this whole base. However, I think bring, if he had brought three heals instead of using those lightning spells, he would have been able to really probably just destroy this whole base. Uh, the only thing that can stop these goblins are obviously are wizard towers and the mortars. However, if you have heal, they can survive uh, I guess he got some dark elixir, but he didn't get to the core one, so I that's a successful. Now, some of these attacks I did. Um, that, this was 28 giants. Look at this, 28 giants, and still not. We're gonna speed this one up. Still not able to get this one done. Now this is just mass. I don't even understand this strategy. He's using mass giants. And if he had some healers behind it, maybe an HGHB, that would be a decent attack. We're not really, not well, just a HB healing up the giants. But he does have his heal spells kind of late on the archer towers. I would have waited a little longer. I mean, the archers. But he just needs a heal. He needs to heal up his, he didn't heal, use any of the heal on the giants. If he had done so, he probably would have gotten more. But again, it's you're defending against the bad attacker. So I did lose some stars here. Looks like this guy was able to get a little bit more dark elixir, uh, <clears throat> probably because he knew what he was doing. And uh, yeah, taking down little ochre head, sadly, because it's really not too hard. All you have to do to crack this one make sure the funnel so you either you know you kind of pinch the side you come in on two different sides and then you bring say goblins or something into the core um to to take down the middle of this base so again but I, I, I really like this one. I found it. I did not create this base. Found it. I like it for protecting my dark elixir. It could be better. You could obvious, You could put traps in different locations. Maybe some giant bombs up here to the north. Seems like a lot of people attack from the north because it's away from the barbarian king. So that means you can put your traps up north. Your double giant bombs and your bombs and your spring traps. Things like that. But these archers unfortunately did lock on too because I don't have any, yeah, I don't have any more defenses up there to the north. And you know, that it happens. It happens, gonna lose quite a bit this time. They do take my dark elixir. So I did have a loss there, sadly indeed, taking it down. Again, nothing is unstoppable when you're defending. So there was one, let's see another one. Oh, this time, Ah, uh, look at this. Was able to use, uh, got three starred. Ouch. 
Now, see, I don't think I could handle any. I couldn't handle this base. He has two. The Giants are too high level. He's got a king and the Wizards. All all his troops are really high level. So I really can't do anything about defending here if he knows what he's doing and attacking because all my defenses aren't upgraded. Look, I got three Archer Towers down and I have a Tesla out of operation and not everything maxed out. That means for sure the fail indeed. So. Yeah, I'm gonna actually, I have another base that protects Dark Elixir and uh, and not only Dark Elixir, but also resources. I'll bring another video out for you. So give this a go, I think you'll like it. Uh, and let me know your success rate. Again, you can tell he doesn't know what he's doing. Why, he just spammed all his wizards. The danger of this, if there's a giant bomb right here, or spring traps or things, all his troops would die. Plus, if any of the mortars locked onto the wizards, all of them would die. You want to spread out your uh, wizards and not clump them all together. <laughs> the danger of clumping them, look, that's the danger of clumping all together. This mortar, even though it's only like a level two mortar or one mortar, it's still able to do a lot of damage, but I do get three starred, unfortunately. But yet again, if you don't know how to attack, we're, I'm gonna try to come up with some more in-depth attacking strategies when I get into war for the Town Hall 7 level right now. I'm not warring yet. I'm not even, I don't have my troops up myself, so it's not worth for me to war. Uh, but I have, I have, you can watch other videos, even mine, of how to path certain things and put down your troops. But anyways, guys, I think I'm just going to end it there. You know, you can tell I, I did get, look at this, um, dragons got me, lost some dark elixir. But for the most part, look, the low, most attacks, I did lose a bunch here. Most attacks, though, oh, he had clan castle troops. Most attacks, I am not losing my Dark Elixir. Um, I would say the majority, I'm not losing it because I'm not facing the good attackers. If you have a CC as well, you can defend against it. So give it a go. Let me know. Thanks, guys, again for watching. Stick around for next week, and I'll continue on this journey for helping you out as a new Clash of Clans player to get better and maybe one day become a professional, a pro. An awesome attacker, a war strategist, and a fighter for your clan. We'll see you next time, my friends. Little Oakerhead out.